Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we have a bit of a change of plans. So, uh, I don't think with the amount of dirt that we currently have in the wash plant that we're going to be able to make enough money to get knock out this debt. Um, and it occurred to me, too, that because I'm in the negative, I don't even have money to smelt. Uh, I'd have to sell the ore at 40%, which I don't want to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the front loader out of the way, and we're going to use our excavator to fill the dump truck up. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I think we're going to need at least a full wash out of here to get this debt taken care of. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we're going to use the dump truck to haul the front loader out of the way. And I put the chains on there, as you can see. Okay. I hope this works. Um, it should, right? But I oh, know I got I can't get at the ends of the chains. All right, here, we're going to have to reconnect them. Oh, it doesn't let me connect to those. Why not? Is there another place on here I can connect to? What the heck, man? I should be able to put them right in here. That's what those are for. Oh, balls. Oh, we can put them on the bucket. Uh, except for the... We <laughs> I don't think... Can we lower the bucket? I don't think we can lower the bucket because... We can't even start the rig. Finish repairs before entering your vehicle. Great. So, I can't even get inside of it. That's not good. Um. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Here, we're going to put this on here. And then jump. I Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work. I can't even get up here. Can I get up on the wheel? Ugh. Maybe on this side? There we go. Okay. So we'll hook that into there. And... Oh, man. I'm not even sure if I can get to that. Let's try getting up on the wheel again here. I'm just... Oh, there we go. I'm so far down on the ground. Uh, get on that. There, there we go. Okay. Now, can we... <laughs> can we reach this? We can't reach it. Darn it. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to hook it to this side then. This is not, not the right way to do this, obviously, but the game is not letting me get in the backhoe, or I'm sorry, the front loader to do anything else. So, all right, can we pull it out of the way? That's the next question. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> we just snapped our cables. Dog, got it. Oh, crap. Okay. Can we push it out of the way? No, it, uh, we can knock it over <laughs> or knock ourselves over. Oh, man. All right. Let's try the excavator. We might have to end up just mining in a different spot. Um, actually, you know what we could do? Maybe we should go mine in the hot spot just so we can get as much gold as quickly as possible. Yeah, maybe that's what we'll do. Because, I mean, it's possible that we could break something else on here, you know, just messing messing around with trying to move it. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, so this is the, the first time I've been in the red, essentially, except for the very beginning of the game. And I'm in the red by $11,500. That's, that's a chunk of change for sure. So what we're going to do is we are going to mine in the hot spot. 
So let's head on over there with this. Uh, we'll use the, ex and you know, I only have the small excavator too, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, so we'll use this to uh, fill this up. Um, guys, I, in terms of spoilers on this plot, I mean, you're going to see where I'm at by this time. So <clears throat> if you don't want to see the whole map, turn your head for just a second. But I'm going to mark the, the best spot on this plot here. So don't look if you don't want to see the whole map. But we're marking the, the spot because i got a mine there now. Okay, here we go. So this is the best spot on this map that I was able to find by drilling. And it's not too bad all the way around it, too. But this is the primo spot. So we're going to toggle that square. And all right. And that's it. So if you guys want to know where the hottest, the most gold is on the old Arnold plot, it's right here in this spot here. Okay, so uh, how do I want to set up for this? Um, I want to do this as quickly as possible. So maybe what we'll do is we'll park the... We'll park the dump truck along here. And the backhoe can should be able to load this directly from the back. Okay, so let's park this here. And we're going to run and get our excavator. And keep working here. So I don't know how long this is going to take. It's obviously going to take a lot longer to fill that thing up than it does with the front loader. But, again, I, I think we, we're going to need at least a full clean out to get enough money to take care of this and keep in mind too you know what i'm oh shit you know what else i'm probably gonna have to do if i want to smelt gold bars i'm probably am gonna have to take a loan even if for one day just so we can smelt the bars because otherwise i'm gonna have to sell the raw ore at a severe discount yeah i should have paid more attention to that but i didn't so now now we get to uh sleep in the bed that we made right kind of sucks but it is what it is Okay, well, I'm going to get started on this. I'll bring you guys back with an update at some point, and uh, we'll see how things go here. Okay, guys, we are in place. It took me 50 years just to drive this thing out here. <laughs> it was it was kind of making a little bit of a weird grinding noise when I was going up the hill, too. So that's a little concerning. I hope that doesn't actually uh, mean anything. Uh, so anyway, let's um, start digging here. We're back to the little excavator, but, uh, you know, at least we have this, and let's hope and pray nothing else breaks down, because I have no money to fix it if it does. Okay, how much does one bucket load get us in here? 3%. Oh, my goodness, this is going to take a while. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, well, no, you know, our only consolation is that uh, we're digging in the richest spot on the claim, so at least we should have some good gold coming from this, man. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back with an update here in a little while. All right, guys, we are back. Um, this wasn't actually too bad because... Uh, I can really move this excavator quickly. I mean, compared to, you know, the front loader and having to fight the hill and stuff. Uh, so I actually got this loaded not not in too bad a time. I mean, I didn't time it in real life, but probably somewhere between five to seven minutes, maybe. Um, which, I don't know. If you're a pro at this game, that's still probably too long. But for me, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> All right, so let's hop on out of here. Uh, I believe I still have 30% dirt in the hopper, too, over at the mine. Uh, but I'm not running it until... We get over there and start working dirt through it just because, you know, I got to be really frugal with fuel and all that right now, too. Um, so, yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a financial pickle we got ourselves in here, but we should be able to recover. Absolute worst case scenario, you know, I can I can sell. I mean, I, I guess I could sell the excavator to fix the front loader or maybe I don't know. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to sell anything I own because we've worked hard to own this stuff, and that's kind of like a last resort. I'll even take a, a temporary loan before I'll do that. But 
I mean, it is another option. I guess we have a bunch of tier two equipment we could sell too, you know, to get a little cash back. But none of the stuff that I would sell, whoops, is um, really going to give us that much money, I don't think. Okay, so yeah. We're, oh, no, we're at 60%. That's even better. Uh, here, let's, whoops. Uh, let's back up just a little more. And we're just going to fill this to 100%. Or 99 is good enough. Okay. And then we'll run this through until it's completely all the way through the shaker before we shut it down and get another load. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Okay. I think we can recover from this, though. I, You know, we just... I, I got to keep a little closer eye on what's happening with the rentals and things like that. Um, let's just start everything, but we don't actually need the magnetite separator, the wave table, or the nuggetator running right at the moment. So we'll just let this, uh, and you know, the other thing too is we're already 23% full as it is, so we're not, not in terrible shape, uh, but we're just going to basically wait until the shaker is completely out of dirt. Then I'm going to shut the plant down and go get another load and, until we have a full thing of gold. And then we'll do, a, you know, then we'll do a cleanup and we'll see where we're, where we stand at that point in time. Okay, guys, we are back and uh, we're just about ready to do our first clean out here. So let's um, shut that down. We want to keep the pumps on. I do, uh, we do need to keep the separator, wave table, and nuggetator on. And uh, let's see, we still have an 18% uh, dirt in the hopper, 37 in the shaker. So what I'm going to do is, you know, the usual here, uh, clean out the gold. And I, I think we'll probably have enough from this clean out to, to get out of the hole and have a little bit of extra capital to do our repairs and keep going. Uh, but it is only 1.20 in the afternoon. I do have the time on 1x, so we should be able to get that thing fixed and get back in business and do, I'd say, at least another clean-out, maybe even two more clean-outs. And then as long as we don't have any major breakdowns or other issues like that, uh, we should uh, we should be okay. So anyway, I will bring you back probably in town when we're ready to, uh, uh, t you know, to cash in the gold and... Uh, with an update at that point and let you know how things are going. Okay, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and we have 54.186 ounces of gold from that clean out because we were in that hot spot. That's really good. And that's with no nuggets either. That was just just what we got from, from the dirt itself. So pretty happy with that. Now, I've got 30% magnetite in here. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to actually cash that in too and then take the next um benefit from the blacksmith that reduces the cost of the gold um just so that we basically we have three options here we, we need to get into the plus before we can even make gold bars the option that probably makes the most sense to me is that we um take a just a loan, like a one-day loan, just enough to <laughs> to get out of the hole and have enough to uh, smelt. You know what? I'm going to actually just run this all the way to the trailer. Um, You know, our bars. So as of right now, with that much gold, I think we're going to need somewhere around maybe three, three to $4,000. Eh, maybe not that much. Maybe around twenty-five to three thousand. Uh, in order to, you know, if we don't change, any, well, three percent magnetite. That's not a ton, is it? But I, it might be enough because we already have some magnetite on hand. We have eleven hundred and thirty-six ounces. If it's enough to get that, you know, his charge down a little more, you know, then um. We're good to go. The other option is I try and sell off all my tier two equipment to get out of the hole, but I don't know. I We might need that. I mean, you know, let's say we had like multiple breakdowns and I was in the hole again and I had no other, you know, not, no way to repair stuff. We'd, we'd have to revert back to tier two mining for a little while. So I don't, I don't think I should sell my tier two stuff. I really don't. 
And now I'm going to, you know, try and be more, a little more careful and make sure that doesn't happen. But, you know, who knows what actually will happen. Okay, so let's go do a drum, a bloop. Try this again. Let's go drop off the magnetite. I'm not even going to take the fuel tank right now. Um, we, we'll worry about that later. We still have 17% fuel in the Jenny, and how much fuel do we have? 12% in there. So we're not, I mean, we have enough to do a few more washings before we even have to worry about that. Uh, so let's just jump in the truck here now. And uh, we're going to go pick up the magnetite trailer and go drop that off and just see if that gives us enough, you know, to reduce the blacksmith cost. I don't know. The thing is, is I don't know if it's makes more sense to reduce his fee or to reduce the amount of gold that's lost. I just don't know which one of those is better, you know. And uh, so, I don't know. If you guys know in the comments, let me know just for future reference. But, oh, wait, that's the wrong trailer. We need to get this one over here. Okay. Grab this. And we're going to just take... Whoa, hello. We're going to take this over to the factory and dump this out and see if that gives us enough to... To do one of those two things, we can either reduce the gold loss or the cost. Nice. <laughs> I think, I mean, the thing that's probably going to be the most immediately useful thing to us is reduce the cost just because of the situation that we're in. But, you know, I, I just don't know. I'm not sure what, what the most significant thing is there. Okay, so let's pull this over here. Pop out and just see what we get. We're not going to get much. Okay, so that gave us basically 278662. And I again, I don't know if that's enough to even do anything at all, but it's worth a try, right? I mean, if we can't do anything with it now, at least we have it for for later. Oh, there's another story thingy there. I'll worry about that later. That's not the high priority right now. Okay, so I'm going to go put this back. I'm going to go in and I'll meet you guys at the black... Uh, go into town, uh, rather, and I'll meet you guys at the blacksmith. You know, what the heck? I just saw the story thingy right here. Let's just grab it real quick. Okay, this is uh, probably magnetite area. Ben, watch out. What? Endless streams of magnetite falling... Through. Wait, didn't we already read that? Yeah, we did. Okay, do something. It won't hold much longer. Mike, go outside and tell them to stop pouring more of it. I can't turn it on. It's clogged. We have we have to get out of here. If they don't stop right now, it's all going to break. You heard him, folks. Move out now. Frank, turn on the alarm. Let the others know we're evacuating. The repetitive sound of sirens can be heard for miles away. Okay, so some kind of issue with the magnetite down in here, I guess. Huh. Okay. All right, one more story under the belt. That's good. Okay, I'll see you guys at the blacksmith. All right, we are here. So, oh, that's right. We can sell magnetite. How much? Ooh, guys, I think this is what we need to do. That gets us out of the hole, and it gives us capital to smelt the bars and back in business. Because otherwise, I'm going to have to go futz around, get a loan, pay interest, have to pay it back off. I think this is what we should do. Uh, but we don't necessarily need to sell all of it. Um, so, okay, so we, so we definitely need to sell 11000 in change to get out of, out of the hole. And then I'm guessing, here, hold on, let's exit for just a second. We're 1159 in the hole. Okay, so I'm guessing that to smelt 54 ounces of gold, it's going to cost us... Around 3,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell enough magnetite to get in the plus by 3,000. Let's go, let's just say 3,500, okay? Um, so sell magnetite. Oh, this is what, this is saving our butt, you guys. Seriously saving our butt. Okay, so we need to go 11 there, and then we need another 3,000. Let's just make it 15,000. Close enough. Okay. Whew. Okay, so... <laughs> 
<laughs> I can breathe a little easier now. Oh man, oh man, that was that was bad. Okay, so we have thirty eight hundred bucks. That should be enough, I hope, to smelt all of our gold. Yes, it is. Uh, that's only actually costing us twenty six eighty nine. So I was close. Oh man. Okay, I'm just breathing a sigh of relief, man. Okay, so I will meet you, I'll meet you guys at the bank for the sale. I hope the prices are good. I haven't even checked the prices. Uh, but we are back in the black now, and we're back in black! <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was stressing about that. I really was. All right, you guys. We will uh, <laughs> We'll meet you at the bank. All right, guys. We are at the bank here. Let's hop out of the car. Like I said, I haven't checked the prices, so let's see what those are first of all. Oh, 1208. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Uh, all right. So let's sell our gold bar. It gets us back 62,000. Sell. Okay. We are back in the black. My goodness. Okay. So we don't have enough money to buy the conveyor, but we do have enough money to buy the hopper. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to return the hopper and get that off the rental thing and then buy one. And that still should leave us a decent amount of money. Because um, I think their rental on the conveyor is like 3000 and something. We can go confirm that. But, uh, oh my goodness. Okay. We're good. <laughs> we're good. I just uh, got a little bit in over my head, but... You know, fortunately, we were able to get back out of it thanks to my my little excavator, the hot spot, the gold hot spot. You know, had we not taken the time to do that drilling, we wouldn't wouldn't have known that hot spot was there. I mean, I still would have been fine, I think, but uh, it just worked out better. So, okay, let's hop out of here now. What I uh, what am I doing here? Oh, we need to get a, a fuel filter for the front loader. That's what's caused this whole problem in the first place. So I think that's this thing here, yeah. Um, let's get a couple of those because they're not that expensive and we might need them. Reinforced fuel filter. Uh, no. I don't. I still don't think we're at, at, at a spot yet where we can be doing reinforced stuff. We will probably eventually, but not right now. Okay, so we got our fuel filters. That's taken care of. And like I said earlier, we have a decent amount of... We still have enough fuel in both our jetting and our water pump to do, you know, I don't know, I'd say three to four more washings at least. So we don't really need to worry about fuel right now. So we're going to just can't kind of keep going. Our truck is about 80% full still, so we're good on that too. Um, So, yeah, we need to go here and buy the hopper. And then we'll go back to the base and we will sell the existing hopper. And then the only thing we'll be renting is this. Let's look at the price on this again. Okay, yeah, so it's $31.82. But we also have to remember, though, that old Arnold is charging us 20% for that parcel. We, sh we need to buy that as soon as possible because uh, that's huge. That's what kind of screwed me up because I didn't think, you know, I was going to go in the in the red with that, but we did. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to buy this for. Oh wait, that's going to be thirty six thousand. That leaves us thirty three thousand. And I just I don't know off the top of my head what old Arnold's going to charge us. What are we paying for rent on this thing? Fourteen sixty-eight. You know what I think we should do? I think we should just keep mining. Um, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, so we we still have, you know, we could probably do anywhere from two to four more complete washings by the by midnight. I think we should do that first and wait until it rolls over to the next day and see where we're at before I make any changes whatsoever. Because you know the rental on this stuff is, you know, we're just a little over. Here, what is it again? So we're fourteen sixty-eight there. So we'll just say fifteen hundred, and here we are, thirty. So we're forty-six, forty-seven hundred in rental for the machinery, which obviously we can cover no problem. 
but it's just what you know what old Arnold's going to charge us, which I, that's too much math for my brain. So, okay, yeah, we're not going to change anything. We're just going to keep mining and stick with the sixty-three thousand dollars that we currently have, and wait until tomorrow. Uh, you know, wait till it rolls midnight, and then we'll see where we're at, and we should be fine. Especially, you know, if I can get three to four more washings in by midnight, and I'm pretty sure that I can, that's going to be a crap ton of money, guys. <laughs> that's going to be a lot of money, and I think we'll be just sitting pretty. As long as nothing else unforeseen, you know, happens other than, you know, the repairs kind of suck because... It's not so much that they cost us money to buy the parts. They cost us money because of the downtime, you know what I mean? But they're part of the game, and I I, 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 I enjoy them just because they're realistic. You know, it's realistic, and um, so I'm, I'm okay with that. It, it, it's it's kind of fun in a not-so-fun kind of way, if that makes any sense at all, which it probably doesn't. <laughs> uh, but anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to let you uh, – well, actually, I'm not sure where we are in the recording. Yeah, we, we actually – um, have more time for this episode so I'm going to cut the camera and I'll bring you back with an update at some point uh, later on today uh, we are let's see what time is it it's about uh, 6.30 p.m. And uh, I've done three more washings, maybe. We got 120 ounces of gold. And I keep having breakdowns. And I keep having thunderstorms, which means that I got to run all the way into town to get parts. And it's uh, going to be a bit of a pain in the neck, not going to lie. So I looked in the settings to see if there was some way to turn the weather system off, and there isn't. So, yeah, um, I'm not a fan. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind if it rained and thunderstormed a little bit every now and then, but when it happens every single freaking time I need to buy a part, it starts to get a little bit not so fun. <laughs> and yeah, maybe that's just because that's the way Alaska is this time of year. But anyway, it is what it is. So we got to go into town and get yet another duplex jig pump. <clears throat> pump. I've already had, excuse me, <clears throat> something in my throat. I've already had two of them break. This is the third one that's broken. Um, and so we're going to grab two more of those. I, I brought two home the first time. And um, now we're going to get two more. And we also need fuel, too. So we are, um, let's see. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, we're very low on fuel and pretty much just everything. The, and the front, the front end loader is almost completely out of fuel. So we're going to pick up a tank of that while we're in town and uh, get those two two pumps actually hold on let me just try this i don't hear any thunder at the moment oh thank goodness okay um <clears throat> so let's see we need parts we need two duplex jig pumps and we shouldn't need a third one for quite some time now because i've already replaced the uh, the other th two all right, so let's grab two of those. And I uh, don't think we need anything else. Oh, I, I broke a trommel chain, so we had to fix that. Broke a something else. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Uh, okay, so check out for two more of those. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> and they, uh, they'll deliver those. Now, you guys have told me in the comments, a couple of you now, and I really appreciate this, that the workers are different now than they used to be because you know some of the videos I've watched on YouTube are older videos apparently these guys don't directly make you gold anymore but what you do is you assign them to um, machinery and then they make that part of the plant more efficient uh, which will translate into more gold indirectly so apparently that's how these guys work so um, I am gonna start hiring them but I want to have a little bit more capital first before we do that. Um, so it is on the to-do list, but we're not going to do it right the, at this moment. I was hoping to get one more, you know, cleaning before we had to go buy anything at all. Uh, but we're only at about 80% at the moment because of these stupid breakdowns. Good news is, though, um, 
let me see. We did, we were able to have those delivered. So how much fuel do I have left in this? It's like pretty darn low. We have to start it up to see the fuel. Oh, it's, it's pretty much empty. Oh, well, no. Yeah, th there's a, a tiny bit left. I just wondered if we could get this last washing done with that small amount of fuel. Uh, let's shut it down again for a second. I think the dump truck's okay on fuel, but I don't remember exactly either, so let's look at that too. Oh yeah, dump truck's fine. And I'm, I, our generator and water pump should get it. It should be fine too. Um, this doesn't actually use as much fuel as you'd think. Either that or it just has a ginormous tank. This one is using a little bit more. So let's change our plants. Let's see if we can get this final washing done. Um, with that tiny bit of fuel that we have left. And um, if we can, then, you know, that way we can do a, another full clean out and then go into town with, I'm guessing, probably somewhere around 170 or so uh, ounces of gold, which is pretty nice. Uh, as you can see, too, I'm uh, making progress cutting down into here. This, this section right here is really steep, and I keep getting stuck. So I had to kind of start going over this way. And coming down through here because the ground, and as you can see, I mean, technically we're not supposed to be able to see in here, but it's just kind of the way this game works. It gets nice and flat down in there, you know, once we're, you know, just kind of down through this way. So I'm at, I might clean that out, uh, it, you know, with the backhoe at some point in the future, but this is really kind of our, our pathway that we're taking down into there now. So once we can cut in there a little more and get a little space, you know, then we can get the dump truck down there and then we're going to be operating on a flat surface which is just going to speed things up because you know being on the hill here is kind of a pain in the butt it's not terrible but it is a bit of a pain in the butt okay so let's see if we can get this final washing done uh, with the remaining fuel i just dumped um oh wait we gotta we gotta fix the pump <laughs> forgot about that uh we gotta fix the pump in fact you know what now that i think about it too because i we, I think I just dumped a full load in the hopper. So we get roughly 20, we fill it up roughly 20% per load. Yeah, see, we got a full hopper. We might already be able to knock this out. Uh, we just got to go repair the thing. Um, This is a, this jig is, our pump is bad, actually. Even though it doesn't always show the, the decal on the bad ones. I don't know why. But it is bad because that's why it's in the back of the truck. So, um, I, because I've already hooked the truck up to the fuel tank, I'm just going to run over here and do all of this. But yeah, that's all the stuff that's broken on us. Um, you know, since, since the, uh, last time I was uh, recording for you guys, which was in my, for me yesterday in real life. <laughs> so it's actually the next day. Okay. So we have a couple of these. Let's take, um, well, yeah, yeah. Let's just leave that other one there for now. Because we could very well lose the pump on the other one, too. In fact, you know what? I think we can check that with the hammer. Let's actually inspect it. If it's like, well, no, I want to get maximum use out of it. I was going to say if it's almost broken. Well, let's say if it's down to like 1%, then we'll, we'll change it out. Okay, so let's set that there. What we've got to do here is get... The crowbar out, which is the seven key. And uh, does it want us to do that from the other side? Oh, no. I, I've got the pipe wrench, sorry. Crowbar's the six key. There we go. Okay, so we pop that off of there. Let's just toss the bad one over here for now. And then we just snap it back on. That was easy. Okay, let's get the hammer out and inspect. It has 7% left. So I'm hoping that's enough to, to finish this last washing out. But we should expect that to go bad here pretty soon. Okay, let's turn on our stuff. 
and move this next load of dirt and this should get us really close if not all the way to 100 percent and while while we're waiting for all of that um, i'm going to go ahead and fill up the dump truck again so i will meet you guys back here when we have a full load Okay, we have another full dump truck load, um, and we are at 99% on the plant. My goodness, so close. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and dump this load off. And uh, just a couple of moments later, as the dirt starts to move through, we should hit our 100% mark. And then uh, we go into town, cash in our gold, fill up our fuel tank and um, come back and fuel stuff up. And we'll see where we are money-wise. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the dump truck here for now. And that's what we're looking for. Okay, so I'll turn on that off. Uh, we want to keep the water going, and also we're going to disconnect this work light and reconnect the wavetable. There we go. Let's turn those three things on. Okay, I'm going to do uh, this washout here. And, oh, I forgot to turn off the uh, the main water. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this washing, and then uh, I'll meet you guys uh, at the end of it. And we'll see where we are with our gold. Okay, guys, we're back, and uh, we got 166.4 ounces. Uh, not quite as good as the last couple washings, but it all has to do with the quality of that dirt. And as if you've been watching the series all along, you know that I didn't, um, uh, I didn't drill over here early on, so I'm not even sure how good this dirt is. I know, I know, as we get further back, it gets a little bit better. Uh, but you know, nevertheless, I mean, it's my intention to. At, as of right now to mine this whole claim out anyways so if that's going to happen it kind of doesn't really matter in the long run but we'll see uh anyway we I, I would do another another load i'd do another uh clean out if i had enough fuel in the front end loader but we don't unfortunately so we're going to go ahead and run into town and cash this out but by the time we cash this out we will be sitting pretty uh with money can start thinking about more upgrades and hiring some workers and stuff like that so um i'm gonna head into town get this gas stop by the blacksmith do the smelting and i'll see you guys there All right, guys, here we are at the bank, and I got the big old lag bug again. It seems like every time I go to the blacksmith, that happens for some reason. Anyway, uh, what's our sell price at? 12 12 that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, it's as high as it's been uh, almost in the entire day, so this is a good time for us to be selling. Let's go ahead and sell what we got. Very nice. All right, that gets us up to 237K. Um, so that is enough for us to get out from underneath uh, the final two rentals. That's the next thing that's gonna happen. And then we wanna, I actually wanna start working on buying old Arnold par, uh, parcel. 
because, um, you know, that way we're not paying that 20% rent, which is super expensive now at this point. Uh, not from the, unaffor- you know, we can afford it standpoint, but whoops. Um, I don't want to pay it. Uh, that's my, I want that to be my money. So that's what we're going to work on next. If we could actually, oh man, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's go back to the machine shop and buy the hopper and the conveyor. Oh, man, this is terrible, this lag. And uh, so I'm going to buy those, have them delivered, and then I'm going to return the other two, and we will no longer have any equipment rentals to worry about. But we are out of time, too, guys, so I'm going to let you go here, uh, get all of that done um and then you know get it all get these swapped out and then get back to mining and we want to um you know work our way up to 300 grand because i think that's what the old arnold parcel is and then once that's done we buy it and then it's ours free and clear and then we're really going to start uh, making some bank um, so I think that's pretty much it for today. Wait, we did, yeah, we did that. So we just have to move the new equipment and then I'll get the old equipment out of there later. Why do I have a mobile? Is it because it's on the back of my truck? That must be what that is, because I don't remember buying another one of those. All right. Move the machines, and it's a done deal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It started out uh, kind of rough, but uh, we turned it around quite nicely. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.